Ladies and gentlemen, we have just arrived at higher quality detail. The car is literally right here. I have somehow avoided looking at it. No one gave me a warning it was gonna be out front. I didn't wanna see it, and I didn't want you guys to see it either until I see it. Now the light's kinda going down, so we don't have a lot of time. Never had a car wrap before. I will tell you the color we went with right now. Before you see it, we went with a Nozitec, and I wanna shout out Nozitec. They literally sent film over within like two days of me reaching out. I didn't really see myself getting my car wrapped with any other film besides a Nozitec. I also think it's a nose tech. People say a nose tech. I've always said a nose tech so it's ingrained in my brain and I might continue to say it, I might not. We'll see. Went with vintage green and there's an exact name for it that I'll get after. I think there's something in the middle of it. Vintage, it's not vintage racing green. I don't know. I went with a green. I didn't want anything flashy. It's an Audi, it's German. You guys know I love like my PTS Porsche colors. And though my interior is not tan, I love green over tan cars. I had to go with green. So without further ado, I'll be looking at it for my first time. My RS3. Oh my God. Yes. Dude, the black looks so good too. Jesus Christ. So we're actually doing something really exciting right now. A buddy of mine, Steven, I'm not sure if you remember from the Twin Turbo Huracan video, he sold his Huracan right after we did that video. It was pretty much already sold. For about, I wanna say like five months now, Steven's been waiting on his replacement to the Huracan. And I keep asking him, like, bro, when's it coming? When's it coming? And he just texted me today and said, hey, if you want to come by, he has an F8 Tributo coming, is getting delivered. So we're headed to EA right now. We're going to wait for the delivery truck to roll up, and they, we're all, as YouTubers like to say, but Steven is taking delivery of his brand new F8 Tributo Ferrari. And I'm a huge fan of the F8, and I'm really excited to see it in the flesh because he's been showing me pictures of it and such while it's been built. So let's go. The truck just got here, so the Ferrari's here. We're going to go look at the Ferrari, but a purple 765LT on alloy wheels with matching or Don't get me started. That's probably one of the best things I've ever seen. Oh, with Senna seats, of course. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Cars and Coffee event. We're here at Penske, the dealerships that I always go to. You know, you've seen me here, they're good cars. I think this is a Cars and Coffee. I heard there was a toy drive event at Audi, but I think that might be tomorrow. But there's a lot of crazy cars here. There's like an SVJ63, some Pistas, some cars I like, you know what I mean? So we're gonna go look at those and then we're gonna move on with our day. But also someone's bringing me coolant because I'm low on coolant, don't worry about it. Fine, just ignore that. No, my dishwasher is not leaking. Leave me alone. Fine. Look what I'm doing. I'm about to make an ice latte. I'm gonna put it in that cup. Then I'm gonna take said ice latte. I've never done this before. I don't know why. I'm gonna take said ice latte and put it in the blender. And I'm gonna put it with some ice, obviously. Hypothetically speaking, I'll be taking just a vanilla latte, not iced. It'll be like a lukewarm <laughs> vanilla latte and then putting it in the blender with ice. You guys know the whole spiel though. You guys know what a latte preparation looks like. So I'll put you right here so you can watch it again. Milk. Is that enough ice? Nah. Take this, pour it over the ice. Oh, 
Coca, and then we'll just blend that together. And then we've got a blended drink. I feel like we need more ice. Hold up. I'm not no barista, you know what I mean? I think you need to kind of, it's a little chunky, but I think that's how they are in the, you know what I mean? We definitely filled the cup up. Pop a straw in this bizatch, and then, Pretty good. Could be sweeter. Oh wow, cheers. In today's vlog, we are gonna be finally, I can't say finishing because I have one part of the coffee bar, something very important, something very expensive, coming from a very beautiful company called Fiorenzato. 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 If you know what that is, then you know what's coming. So at least I'll give you guys a little hint. If you wanna Google it, then you know what's coming. If you don't, then you have no idea. That comes late because they had to actually order me one. They didn't have any because Everyone wants them. Speaking of coffee bar, I finally got floating shelves. And I actually got two more that are longer and wider so that the depth is different because you know what, aesthetics? Because some things may not fit on these ones. These ones are little. Now how I'm putting these in the wall, you ask? I don't know. My guess is on the back of them, there's these little holes that nails go on. If there's nothing, well, they're gonna stay in the box. Converting coffee bar in three, two, uno. That's one in Spanish, okay. Health is wealth, baby! This is everything that was there. Toaster is not part of my coffee bar. Those are not, and that's not. They were on the counter. What's going where? That is the question of the day. We have officially set them up. I know they look a little reckless right now. I didn't want them to be like identical. I kind of wanted them to be whatever. Some like that were supposed to be at the same height, but the bolt in the back is centered on it, so it's hard to get, whatever. Who cares, it'll look good in a second. Here's my new coffee bar, for now. We got my backup quarter filtered. Well, it's not really backup, just my other one. We got my main. We got a little bit of inspiration, you know, because I can't even when I don't, I don't. I got my coffee beans. I got my straws. I got my powder and a new powder jug. I got my little espresso shot glasses. I've got my tamper and my leveler, a tree because you need green. Another, tr well, it's a cactus because Arizona. My two espresso mugs. And then those are for a YouTube video, but they look aesthetic. They look like they'd be a part of a coffee bar. I mean, they are. I just don't use them because they suck. But I mean, every once in a while, I could like add a little hazelnut if I want some flavor. And then, like I said, something bigger is gonna be going here soon and then I might be selling that. I am gonna end up buying some new stuff and adding it to the coffee bar and playing around with the coffee bar. I've got a lot of money invested in the coffee bar so I'm gonna use the coffee bar. First of all, <sighs> did you see it? Did you see it? There was, I am in the canyon somewhere near Sedona. I don't know how far, but this is absolutely beautiful. We're kind of closing the trip out right now. We're heading back home. That's the truck if you guys, you know what I mean? You guys like, oh I really f my camera yesterday. I dropped my camera yesterday. I just got a new polarizer and it got destroyed, which I didn't see yesterday. Long story. But I'm gonna wrap up the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys enjoyed, you know what to do. You need me to tell you? I'll tell you what to do. You don't need to subscribe. Turn on the notifications. All I care about. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Gotta go.